signs of Scorpio. My name is Kim and I'm going to do your reading for the next 48 hours. Thank you for your likes, shares, comments, subscribes. Um, I appreciate all the support very much. So let's get started. Need to shuffle these. And I'm going to light this because I didn't clear the energy before the last one. So that's what we'll do. Real quick. So let's call in your angels, spirit guides, higher self, higher power for the sign of Scorpio. All right. Or Scorpio, what do we have for them, Spirit? If you all would like a private reading, look in the description box. I'm doing those donations right now. All right, let's get going. On a short spread with the Everyday Enchantment Tarot. Everyday Enchantment Tarot. Really cute deck. Big cards, but they're good quality. And the artwork is really good, too. All right, so what do we have as the issue for Scorpio? Ten of Wands. Feeling really stressed out right now. Scorpio it might be something to do with work. Maybe about having to wait for something to come through. Like the time to be right. There's a moth there. The sprite that's in the picture is kind of um, angry looking. So, yeah, there's just a lot of overburden. Feeling like you're really, like you have to do these things. It's no option for you is what it feels like. The, um, yeah, I knew that was coming. So, the challenge is temperance. That's divine timing, which I, I kind of got the hint when I saw the 10 o'clock that it might be something about waiting for something to clear or waiting something to like a judgment to go through something like that maybe it's a big decision you're making but there's a balance there's always a balance and that's what's trying to be achieved maybe some people that don't want that or are resistant past position we have the lovers i don't know why this is in the past you know and i don't know it might be a gemini or it might be about you know, just really good love, almost soulmate feeling. Um, maybe about making changes or decisions, making decisions at crossroads. Then we have the five of swords for the near future. Why? Why, why, why? Sagittarius, Gemini. There may be, it may be work too. There may be conflict at work. Something about work, okay? Because you see the other people that would be considered your peers, they don't look very happy. They all kind of look upset. One person looks more upset than anybody else. They have a weapon. Let's get another one to describe the near future. We've got nine of wands. Okay, so yeah, you've gotten beat in, in some of these fights or conflicts. And then time sees you still getting up. Um, still persevering and definitely walking through and getting through and showing people how uh, you come out the other side no matter what, no matter what you go through. All right, spirit advice for you. Okay, some information is going to come in and it will really bring some clarity on this issue. Um, this card is suggesting that there may be something wrong with like somebody that you really love, maybe something medically, maybe your pet. But you will get clarity. You might not know, but we're gonna, it's like taking an x-ray to the problem, the actual situation, and seeing, okay, either what is causing the problem or where is it? Where is it located? What does it look like? All right. Then advice is to get out of, oh, yeah, to, to stop and, uh, and realize that you need rest, recuperation, and you need to tell people that you don't want to fight right now. You just want to sit this out. I think that's, that's either, I don't know, might be a, a badger or a skunk, I can't tell. So, yeah, um, having everything that you need, but being really content away from everybody else, almost like you're in a different land than other people. You're that far away. 
get get far away. That's kind of one of the things. Get far far as away as you can to relax, rest, and recuperate. Might be an emotionally challenging time where you need some time for physical healing too. Maybe both. Maybe some lifestyle changes. Two of Cups comes in as advice from spirit. Two of Cups is about good partnerships, harmonious partnerships. So what it's reminding me is that maybe it's this, these two people or this situation. The here's coming up again. So there is a decision to be made out of love, out of kindness. And then we have Aries, the Emperor. Persevere. And maybe it's about persevering to um, achieve this state. This The Emperor feeling is being able to not only have control for yourself, but control over everything. You see at his, it looks like he's at work and then he can see, or he's at home and he can see his workplace. There's a castle behind him. There's the bird of power behind him. Aries sign. This person is competitive, but they always usually win. Anyway, uh, they're spontaneous. All right, so let's go ahead and get some other cards for you. Let's see where this is going. Let's get the um, archetype deck. Let's get the ar ar archetype deck, if I can say it. All right. For our sign, Scorpio. The one, Scorpio. What's this about? The one. Dun, dun, dun. All right. One more time. All right, so that's good. Let's do a cut, and then we'll draw. Oops. A bridge nice that's your bridge to spirit it's almost like in this spread that's the bridge this is the you're happening life and going to and then this is spirit advice that is the bridge maybe you make a bridge for somebody else maybe there's somebody that's wanting to contact you from spirit realm or maybe you are having more contact than ever lately that might be true so then we have the offering. This is about spiritually, what are you um, going to offer up in order to make room for something else to come your way? So it's the law of giving and receiving. You give a little bit like an offer, um, and it's for something. Give and take. One more, the mirror. All right. I was going to put this right here. There is something... Um, when the mirror comes up, I'm thinking there's something around you that is not what it seems. Advice is really to get away from these things or these people or situations. Focus on having good partnerships. Take control of your life, like taking a hold of the reins of your life. Getting out of an illusion of what is real and what's not real. Making your own reality, manifesting what you want and need. And having extreme clarity on this situation. So you're going to know not to trust the mirror in the future. And I think that's just big advice for you. All right, let's look at tea leaves. And we're going to wrap this up for you. Maybe there's something these two people need to offer up. Or this partnership. Hmm. I knew these would not shuffle good. I don't know why I even tried this. Oh, um, gosh. Sorry, let's do it like this. <laughs> Gong, an exciting event. Gong, an exciting event. Diamond, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. Maybe right here with this Two of Cups. You never really know, right? Unicorn, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. Might have something to do with this Four of Swords energy.
Claw, be careful. Do not take risks. Yeah, I didn't see any, like, King of Wands or Queen of Wands. So, I knew that wasn't coming in. But, all right. Scales, keep your life in balance. Keep your life in balance. That might be what the twos are signifying. Balance and change. Or a Libra. So, we have Libra, Sagittarius, Gemini, Aries. All right. Staff, you will be taken care of in difficult times. And that, my friends, equals six. So we're going to stay with the love and harmony vibe. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Sending you love and light your way. Have a great start to your week. Bye.